Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. So last time with the bare eye, with the naked eye, I don't see it flickering at all. It, it looks fine for me. Huh? However, on the screen we see it, we see it flickering. If we have a look, here is always, always some flickering, always, yeah, simply doesn't look. If it's bright enough, it looks okay. But then as it starting to dim, we see this flickering. I don't want this. Yeah? So we need to change somehow the BWM frequency. And I found out it's not that difficult. Yeah, it's not that difficult. Here, there is a command, there is a command which is called analog write frequency. This is available on the ESP32. Uh, oh, it's called. Uh, it's, no, it's not 32. Yeah. 88, yeah, on the old ESP, on the older ESP. Yeah. Uh, frequency, standard frequency is 1000 Hz. So what we see here is 1000 Hz. I want to be bigger, so let's say 10,000 Hz. Okay, and now let's try upload. Upload this. I do not change anything at all, so this will always get brighter and darker again. Yeah. Maybe I will set here the, the brightness settings a little bit to, to constant brightness. Oh. Now there is no flickering. Now there is no flickering. So this is good. It's getting really bright now. Yeah. Since I've changed the brightness settings now, maybe I should change it back to 1000. Let's see. Then we should again see this, this, this flicker. All right? Because they say 1000 is the standard frequency. Upload, let's see. And and <laughs> I'm writing, all right. Now it started. And yes, there is this flickering again. I wonder what would be sufficient. I wonder what would be sufficient? Yeah. Maybe we as tune down the brightness even a little bit more. Then we see it better. It's flickering. All right. So let's, let's use 2000. Why not? Huh? Upload. See if this is still flickering at 2000 or not. Ah, nah, since this is working, it's great, actually. Yeah? It's getting hot here. Oh. I also added two, two heat sinks. Right. And? Ah, 2000. We still see a little flicker. We still see a little flicker. So 2000 is too less. 3000. Ah, still, 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 still a little, looking a little bit like interlaced video. Huh? No, 3000, too less. 4 kilohertz. Ah, looking already pretty good. 4 kilohertz. I think I will use five, but I'm now interested in, I am now interested in how many, let's say we're we using only 400. How flickery is that? Huh? Go in the other direction, see what is happening. Hmm. 
Uh. <risos> é. Né? No. 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 <risos> 50. Then we should see the same. With 50 Hz, we should almost see the same flicker as with these lamps above. Or maybe they have a bridge rectifier, then it would be 100, then it would be 100 Hz. I don't know. We will see. 50 Hz must be real flickery. Probably have a bridge rectifier and using 100 Hz. <laughs> Beast, ooh, even here. Yes, yes, it's looking great, doesn't it? Huh? You see what difference a BWM frequency makes. How is 10 Hz looking? This should. I think 10 Hz is the minimum frequency I can give here. <laughs> oh, I even see it now with my, with my eyes. <laughs> Flashy, isn't it? So, 5,000. Upload. Is this getting hot? Oh, it's already very hot, so I should stop. Great, smooth. Not flickering at all. Not with the bare eye. Not on the screen. This I'm going to use. I'm using 5 kilohertz and then I will produce my studio light. However, I will not just make it dimmable yeah, because I also want to add a measurement, a brightness measurement, yeah, and I want to the, the Studio light is compensating. If we are too dark, the studio light should dim up. If we are too bright, the studio light should dim down. So automatically. I'm not sure if this is working great, hmm? but I will try. So I will use a photoresistor and read in the brightness, the current brightness, the current illumination and compens try to compensate it with my, with my light. So next video, we will add here a brightness sensor. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.